I'm Razi here with a new video, and today I'm going to show you, 20 plus tips and tricks on KineMaster. So let's jump into the video. If you have a lot of file, I don't have so many file, but if I had, and if I use the same file often, I can add that file to favorite for quick access. You can add the file to favorite by holding on the file. And tap on the star button. And then if you go to the favorite folder, you can see that the file is there. For making the media browser full screen. You want to go to settings. Then scroll down, then enable the option called, media browser full screen mode, then audio browser full screen mode. Now if I go back to my project, and then import a file, you can see that this is in full screen. This will make more sense if you have more files. And this will also work while importing audio as well. If you are adding so many effects and layers. It's harder to navigate KineMaster. But if you tap on the timeline button on the bottom left. You can see that the timeline is now full screen. So now I can navigate it faster. And if I tap on the button above it, I can see the preview. And I can set it anywhere. This is very useful if you are working with layers and effects a lot. And you can go back by taping on that same button. For pinning a layer. Tap on the button on the bottom left. If you pin a layer you can still drag and edit the file. So what will pin do? What it does is. You can see that the layer is pinned. And the layer is starting from one second. And if I import a clip. You can see that it's still starting from one second. But if I unpin it, and import the clip, you can see that the audio moved with the video. This is what pinning will do. You can use or not use it according to the situation. If you want to save a frame, and add it to your project, you can do that by taping on this icon on the left. Then select the option that is suitable for your situation. You can add it as a normal frame, or add it as a layer. You can also save it to gallery also. This is very useful for making thumbnails and stuffs. If you are making stories for Instagram or status for WhatsApp. And if you are working with small elements. You can make the preview plain full screen by taping on the icon on the bottom right. And you can set the elements very faster and correctly. This will not work if you are using a 16 by 9 template. But it will work for the other two. If you imported a clip and it's zooming in while playing. Go to pan and zoom. Then tap on the equal to button. So this will be similar. But if you double tap on the preview plane. The video will fit to screen. This is very useful. And maybe this will be the most used trick. If you want to fit screen to a layer. Tap on split screen. Then select the second one. This is also used a lot while editing. If the audio is out of sync, or you want to edit the audio, you can extract the audio from video, by tapping on the clip and then select extract audio, so you can sync or edit the audio. You can also use the audio in anywhere else, in the project also, and you can use the upcoming audio tricks also on the extracted audio. Now if I drag the audio, you can see that the audio is not extending, but if you enabled loop, you can drag the audio to the length you like. There is no limit. And if you enable loop to end. You can loop to the end of the project. So if you increase the length of a project. The length of the audio will be also increased. And then if you enable duking. This will decrease the audio when there is a voiceover. So if you set ducking to a background music. This will increase the audio when there is no voiceover. But if there is a voiceover this will decrease the audio of the music. This is so cool and useful. Now if you select the project you wanna rename. And then tap on the title. You can rename the project whatever you like. This is very useful if you are working with so many projects, and this will make you organized, and easy to find projects. And then if I tap on this icon you can make a duplicate of your project. So if you edit this file and mess up, you can still go back and edit it without any problem. You can start a project by taping on the wand button. And then you can set the name you like. 
Now select the files you will be using in the project. Now select the theme on the project. You can also select none. Then set a title. I'm not adding it. And select the music you wanna add. And then if you tap on next. You will be on the project with a basic edit. This is very useful to make simple projects. Or get started with a project. If you tap on the store button. You will be in asset store of kind master. And here you can download third party effects. Filters. Stickers. And fonts. This is very useful. If you want to set a different theme. Or if you are getting bored. Try some of this out. Most of them are free also. If you want to export 1080p videos on a 720p phone. You want to tap on settings. Then device capability information. And then tap on the three dot. And select high resolution. I have made a video about that. You can check that above, or in the description box. And then if you go back, and scroll down, now advanced in experimental settings. And select unlimited layer mode. This will give more flexibility on the layer. And you can also enable. Allow export frame rates higher than 30 FPS. Now you can also export 60 FPS videos also. Now go back. You can change the locations of files here. If you want to work with them again. And make sure that default pan and zoom mode for photo clip is set to fit screen or fill screen. So that's it for this video, here is a kind master playlist, feel free to check that out. And don't forget to like share and subscribe, see you soon.